This lesson is going to focus on estimating the area of a circle. Uh, we're going to take a look at some three-dimensional objects and this is another good lesson that you could pose the question to your students and get them to bring up ideas. We're going to show you some ways to actually find the area just to estimate. It's not going to be bang on but it will be close enough. So what you might do is have the students bring in some flat circular objects that they can use. So we've got lids, this is a magnet, coins, poker chip and a counter. So one way that you might want to start is to focus on what does area mean. So in other words we're looking for a square unit and in this case it's a centimeter square. So what we might start with first is taking a can and we're just going to draw a circle around it and then we could lay our grid sheet on top of it. So if I wanted to know approximately what area we had one method might be to count all the full squares and then we would take our half squares and find another corresponding half square to make one and then we could count it that way. Now another way we could look at it, generally students in grade 6 have had a good foundation on the area of a, a triangle so what they might be doing is saying I see my circle has a whole bunch of triangles in it if I found the area for one triangle and then multiplied it by the number of triangles that I've got in this particular circle And I could find the area for that. So if I went back to my formula one half base times height, I could find what's in here. And this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, six, one sixteenth of the circle. So whatever I find out, I could multiply by 16 and get an approximate value of that circle. That could be another way. Now if we go back to Archimedes, we could find the, if I could find an inside square, then an outside square. Now our circle is halfway here so Now my circle was halfway in between. I could say I could find the area of the blue square and then find the area of the red square
and my circle was halfway in between, then I could find the average. So if I put my circle back in there, I know it's going to be all of the red, and it's only going to be part of the blue. So if I can find the average, I would be pretty close. Now, the idea is to get your students to try different ideas. So those are a couple of ways that we can estimate the area of a circle before we actually get into a, a formula.